So now see the problems based on volume strength of hydrogen peroxide. Okay. So 10 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide liberates 12.7 grams of iodine from an acidic potassium iodide solution. So here the reaction is 10 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide liberated 12.7 grams of iodine by reacting with the potassium iodide solution in acidic medium. Means here hydrogen peroxide reacts with the potassium iodide solution in acidic medium releases uh, iodine. So this is the best example. This is the best example of uh, oxidation properties of hydrogen peroxide. Here hydrogen peroxide changes potassium iodide into iodine. Means here in potassium iodide, so by reacting uh, with the hydrogen peroxide, potassium iodide become iodide. Sorry, potassium iodide become iodine. Means here this is I minus, whereas here it is zero. Means uh, the iodine oxidation number is increased from minus one to zero. Okay, for balancing purpose, you can write two. It's whatever it is. The iodide is oxidized to iodine. This iodide is oxidized to iodine by reacting with hydrogen peroxide. Mean here hydrogen peroxide works as the oxidizing agent. We already know that uh, hydrogen peroxide acts as oxidizing agent and also reducing agent based on the conditions and the compound. Here it hydrogen peroxide oxidizes the potassium iodine, the potassium iodide into iodine. So generally this reacts Hydrogen peroxide reacts with potassium iodide and releases iodine. So these two are completely reacting with each other. These two are completely reacting with each other means uh, we can write uh, milli equivalence of hydrogen peroxide exactly equal to the milli equivalence of potassium iodide in milli equivalence concept. And these two are commonly given this product. These two are reactant, this is product. So, we can write milli equivalence of uh, iodine. So, here no information about potassium iodide. So, information only given about hydrogen peroxide and iodine. So now equalize them only for calculation. So immediately equivalence of uh, hydrogen peroxide exactly equal to milli equivalence of iodine. Milli equivalence means we know N1, V1 are exactly equal to N2, V2. So what is the normal term hydrogen peroxide? So we need to find the normality of that hydrogen peroxide. What is the V1? It is 10 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide. What is N2? Here N2 of iodine. It is given in terms of grams. We need to convert the grams into normality. So normality means weight by equivalent weight. So we are calculating about I2. Calculating about I2 means the equivalent weight of I2 we can write Equivalent weight by its valency. Here 2i minus becomes I2. 2 iodides become I2. So there is a change of 2 electrons. That's why its a number of electrons transferred is 2. 2000 by value in milliliters. So whereas its value is not given, this is this calculation is for N2, normality of iodine and its value. Two value terms will cancel. 
and this and here we get a normal equal to 12.7 127 it's 127 12.7 into 10 finally we will get uh, 10 so its normality is equal to 10 okay just uh, here important thing is uh, these two are reacted in allergic medium forming this product so these two are completely reacted giving this iodine means with the help of this information we can write uh, milli equivalence of hydrogen peroxide exactly equal to milli equivalence of potassium iodide is exactly equal to milli equivalence of iodine but we are not at all taking this because there is no information given about potassium iodide just it is a word is given and potassium iodide is reacted so thus we are taking the terms which information is given in the problem that is milli equivalence of hydrogen peroxide, milli equivalence of iodine. So milli equivalence means N1 V1 equal to N2 V2. So finally here we get normal equal to 10. So now this is completed. So we need to calculate molarity values and all these. Okay. So normal you got a 10 normality. Okay. Okay, normal is 10 and uh, now we are calculating molarity. Okay. We know the formula that uh, normal D is equal to molarity into N factor. So we need to calculate normality by N factor. What is normality 10? What is the N factor? So hydrogen peroxide acts as oxidizing agent, raising two sorry by transferring two electrons. Means its molarity is five. Molarity is five. Next, um, see the volume strength. So volume strength. What is mean by volume strength? Here very important uh, the term volume strength. So this is applicable only for hydrogen peroxide based on its uh, releasing amount of oxygen. The oxygen releases amount, like what they are releases a volume basis to make volume strength on the Okay. So in general formulas we know that uh, one normal is equal to 5.6 volume strength. 5.6 volume strength of hydrogen peroxide. This is the basic formula. 1 normal equal 5.6 volume strength of hydrogen peroxide. So here we got normality 10 normality. So what will be the volume strength? So that becomes uh, 56 volume strength. 56 volume strength hydrogen peroxide. So, this uh, hydrogen volume strength is completed. So, next is the strength. Here, volume strength is only applicable for hydrogen peroxide. It is based on the volume of oxygen liberated by the sample of hydrogen peroxide. In the volume strength concept, uh, we discussed that. Now, calculate the strength. Strength is equal to amount in 1 liter. Amount of the substance in 1 liter. Amount of the substance in 1 liter is always known as strength. So, already we know that, uh, already we know that in general formula, that is one normality is equal to always uh, 17 grams 
per liter. Here, how much the normality we got? 10 normality. So, 10 normality equals how much? That is equal to 170 grams per liter. This is called just strength. The strength unit can be used for any solutions. So, this strength is completed. Next is the percentage strength. So, percentage strength means uh, we know that 1 normality of hydrogen peroxide is equal to 1.7% strength. Then what about 10 normality hydrogen peroxide equals how much? That is equal to 17% of hydrogen peroxide. Okay. So these are the strength of hydrogen peroxide. Percentage strength of hydrogen peroxide. Just we need to compare what is valence strength, what is strength, what is percentage strength. So here we calculated all this with the help of normality. Means uh, this is the basic formula we need to remember generally in hydrogen peroxide uh, valence strength problems. Okay, take down. Okay, see the next one. So based on hydrogen peroxide uh, strength. Here a solution of potassium dichromate containing 4.9 grams per liter. Here amount of uh, potassium dichromate in 1 liter is given. Means uh, its strength is given. And use it to titrate. Titrate means uh, just reacting with a special apparatus. Means one is uh, one substance is taken in burette, other substance is taken in pipette. So, other substance is taken in a, a conical flask with the help of a pipette and both are reacted, both are uh, added drop wise. Then that is called a titration. Still, but totally we can say they are reacted. Potassium dichromate reacted with the hydrogen peroxide. So, what is the strength of hydrogen peroxide is 3.4 grams per liter. Same in acidic medium. So, what value of potassium dichromate required to react with 20 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide? So, 20 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide only, how many milliliters of potassium dichromate will be reacted? So, if uh, these two are reacted completely, we can write uh, milliequivalence of Cr2O7 minus 2. Here the reacted part. The reacted part is Cr2O7 minus 2. Here actually this potassium dichromate, the dichromate part is reduced to Cr plus 3 by hydrogen peroxide. Whereas in the earlier problem, hydrogen peroxide acts as oxidizing agent by changing the iodide into iodine. But here the dichromate is changed to chromium ion. Means chromium plus 6 is converted to plus 3. Here it is reduced. It is reduced by hydrogen peroxide. Means in this reaction, hydrogen peroxide acts as reducing agent. Exactly equal to milli equivalence of a hydrogen peroxide. Because both are uh, this 20 ml of hydrogen peroxide should completely react with the, this potassium dichromate. So, we can equalize their milli equivalence. But uh, to equalize them, we need to know N1, V1 equals N2, V2. But here, no information about the normality of, uh, we need to calculate this V1. But uh, there is no information about uh, N1 and this N2 directly. But the information is given is, uh, the strength is given. Strength means, as uh, we know, the amount present in 1 liter. Uh, we just remember, strength is equal to amount present in 1 liter is called strength. 
and we know the relation. For example, uh, what is the normal the general formula? Weight by gram equivalent or equivalent weight into one by v in liters. If you take it one liter, the normal to becomes weight by equivalent weight into one by one liter. The amount of a substance, the amount of the substance present in one liter. The amount present in one liter. So this weight by one liter. In the place of weight by one liter, we can write strength. Therefore, now this can be written as normal is equal weight by liter. Only in these two terms we can make it as strength. Strength by equivalent weight. Therefore, what is strength now? Okay, you got the normal formula that is strength by equivalent weight. Now, calculate it for our problem that uh, what is the equal, what is the normality of a uh, Cr2 or 7 minus 2 or nothing but K2Cr2 or 7. What is the strength? The strength is given. 4.9 grams per liter. So one lit the amount present in one liter is called strength. So that's why the strength is 4.9. So what is the sorry? Okay, normal equal to strength by equivalent weight. Here strength is given 4.9. So what is the equivalent weight? Equivalent weight means its molecular weight by change in number of electrons. So what is the molecular weight of potassium dichromate? Potassium 39, chromium 52, oxygen 16. Totally we will get 294. But what is the change in number of electrons? 6. What is change in electrons? I am writing this here. Six. Here we will get uh, four point nine by forty-nine. That is equal to uh, zero point. Sorry. Finally, we will get the 0 0.1 normality. So, this is normality of potassium dichromate. So, how you got 6 means uh, Cr2O7 minus 2 changed to 2 Cr plus 3. As at the, uh, earlier of uh, this time, we said the potassium dichromate is reduced to Cr plus 3. Meaning here, the change in the number of electrons will be 6 electrons. That indicate this six. So here, close we get normal term potassium dichromate is zero point one n. So in the place of uh, this n one, we can write zero point one. We need to calculate this value. So what is n two now? N two means uh, the normality of hydrogen peroxide. What normality of hydrogen peroxide? Uh, all we know this formula, normal equal strength by equivalent weight. Say it is equation 1. Again, by using equation 1, the normal of hydrogen peroxide is its strength. What is its strength? 3.4 grams per liter. 3.4 by its equivalent weight. Its equivalent weight means Molecular weight by number of electron change is 2 here. That is equal to n equal to 4 okay, by 17. So here finally we will get uh, 0 0.2 normal. So substitute here. 
the normal hydrogen peroxide is what 0.2 what is value so what was with the 20 ml of hydrogen peroxide solution so 20 so what is the v now point we will get cancel we will get uh, so 40 ml of K2Cr2O7 40 ml of potassium dichromide solution is required to react with 20 ml 0.2n of hydrogen peroxide so here basic thing is the reaction of Cr2O7 and hydrogen peroxide we calculated their normal here only strengths are given we calculated their strength with the help of this formula we obtained this formula from the original formula of normality okay and by calculating both normalities and uh, substituting in the milli equivalence of dichromide equal milli peroxide n1 v1 equal to n2 v2 so finally we got the value of uh, dichromate is 40 ml okay take down Okay. See the next one. So also it is also based on a uh, strength of hydrogen peroxide. The reaction is also same. That is hydrogen peroxide with uh, K2Cr2O7. But we need to calculate uh, the value strength of hydrogen peroxide. So generally we know the value strength of hydrogen peroxide is calculated with the help of a uh, it is normality so by taking the general formula that uh, one normality of hydrogen peroxide is 5.6 volume strength of hydrogen okay sorry Listen, one normal to we know generally we calculate uh, the values in the basic formula is uh, one normal of hydrogen peroxide is equal to 5.6 value strength of uh, hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so to know the value strength, it is compulsory to get uh, its normality. In every problem, there must be given information to calculate normality. So in this it is given that uh, the reaction of hydrogen peroxide with potassium dichromide. So with hydrogen peroxide we know that complete the reaction with potassium dichromate and hydrogen peroxide reduces the potassium dichromate into chromium. So therefore we can write uh, milli equivalence of hydrogen peroxide is exactly equals to milli equivalence of potassium dichromate nothing but uh, dichromate that is n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 so we need to calculate this normality of hydrogen peroxide so what is the value so how much value is used for the reaction purpose for the reaction purpose there is only 20 milliliter is given N2. What is the normality of N2? This uh, indicates the chromium, dichromate ion. M by 60 means uh, here what is the molarity? M by 60 means 1 by 6 molarity. 1 by 60 molarity means uh, we know that normality is equal to molarity into N factor. So molarity is given as 1 by 60. N means N factor we know that 6 because uh, Cr2O7 minus 2 changed to 2 Cr plus 3. The changing electrons is 6 electrons. That's why this n factor is 6. Means normal equals 1 by 16 to 6. Nothing but uh, 1 by 10. We are writing uh, exactly here also. What is the V2? It reacted with 40 milliliter. Okay. 
so here the r mod j is equal becomes so that is equal to zero point two r mod so it is not the final answer this is just the normality of this twenty milliliter solution which takes part in the reaction and the reaction law you just now the twenty milliliter reaction law you just now the twenty milliliter hydrogen peroxide normality zero point two m normality general gum a solution of twenty ml is correct right? the solution is a sample in this one is twenty ml solution this twenty ml is obtained from The 50 ml of this solution and 50 ml of this water, but total 100 milliliter of that solution, 100 milliliter of the solution, they took only 20 milliliter for the reaction purpose. Means after dilution is normality. So the 20 ml is taken from. 100 ml of a H2O2 solution this 20 ml is taken from 100 ml of the solution is with the normality 0.2 when here we got the normality is a normality of 20 ml or nothing but normality of that 100 ml solution after dilution but uh, this 100 ml of solution This hundred milliliters of solution actually fifty milliliter of uh, this hydrogen peroxide and fifty milliliter of this water means after dilution this zero point two is zero point two normality is after dilution. Therefore, we can write uh, the initial fifty milliliter of H2H2O2, H2O2, initial fifty milliliter of H2O2 normality is equal, which is after dilution. And if fifty milliliter of H2O2 na H2O2 ki fifty ml water add is in the water, or chida hundred milliliter of the solution normal then the point two. And dilute check mo the concentration mano find out chal. Value sent to 50 milliliter. Starting initial 50 milliliter. Find out some number. Yeah. So the 100 milliliter solution is point two. This is after dilution. So before dilution, and the so they that is exactly equal to point four. Okay. Point four normality. So this is the normality of this 50 ml. 50 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide solution. We calculated this total after dilution because the information given after dilution only. So at first we calculated the normality of hydrogen peroxide after dilution. Then we changed it into before dilution. So therefore, from equation one. So one normality is equal to 5.6 value strength. Then what about 0.4 normality is equal to how much value strength? Okay, it is approximately we will get a 2.24. Value strength of hydrogen peroxide means here the available oxygen is 2.24 volumes. The strength value strength means nothing but it is based on the releasing amount of oxygen. Ida. So here how much volumes of uh, oxygen is released? If the question is like that, we can say 2.24 volumes of oxygen will be liberated. That's why it is called as 2.24 volumes strength of hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Take it.